Welcome back. Today I'm reviewing The Disappearance of Nagato Yuki-chan, a 10-volume romantic comedy manga. It is based on the melancholy of Haruhi Suzumiya franchise, and particularly the version of the characters presented in its movie, The Disappearance of Haruhi Suzumiya. So yeah, it gets a little complicated. But the creators made some important changes. In the movie, the character of Yuki Nagato is cripplingly shy, practically incapable of having a com normal conversation or expressing herself. <clears throat> She's a much more normal girl in this manga, still shy, but more clumsy and easily flustered than the extremely awkward character of the movie. This Yuki feels like a cute geek girl, not someone with a significant, like, disorder. Um, now, I've said a lot about Haruhi so far as this kind of franchise, which begs the question. Do you need to be familiar with the Haruhi franchise to appreciate this manga? Thankfully, no. It works as a slice-of-life shoujo comedy series, though the creators do sneak in several references to the normal continuity. For fans, do note that there are no plot surprises here. Nothing is revealed about the Haruhi characters or timeline that you won't already know from the TV series and movie, so you're safe there. The manga follows a simple premise. What if the more human Yuki from the Disappearance movie was a normal girl caught up in a slice-of-life comedy with some increasing romantic elements using basically that same cast? This premise actually works quite well. We get to see how a shy girl, um, we get to see a shy girl and how the people around her help her with her issues. Also nicely, there's no introvert shaming common in other media. It's okay that she's shy as long as she doesn't let that get in the way of the things she wants. The characters are mostly the same as the movie versions, with the primary changes of both Yuki and Kion. Kion, in particular, is much less snarky and generally just a nice guy who likes Yuki, if you're familiar with those characters. Otherwise, he's just a nice guy. To that point, kudos to the creators on the dialogue. Each character definitely has their own cadence. Yuki stammers and frequently apologizes. Ryoko is straightforward and logical, and Haruhi is direct to the point of bluntness, but in keeping with the movie version, is less pushy than her standard or kind of prime counterpart. Actually, I like that. There's sort of Yuki Prime and Yuki Disappearance movie pr uh, version and Yuki Disappearance, mo like, you know, prime version and then this version. Uh, the story starts out as a light slice of life comedy, just characters interacting, then weaves in some romance as the novels progress. Very little of consequence happens, with a few major exceptions, but that's the charm of a slice-of-life story. It's all about the characters' reactions and emotions here. There is a major plot twist about halfway through the story, and there are occasional artistic references to the prime versions of the characters. So there's that kind of stuff for, for both audiences there. The art is clear and consistent, favoring minimal and even no backgrounds much of the time. Instead, the art emphasizes facial reactions, particularly comedic ones, but also ones with some depth. This is particularly important for a work in the Haruhi franchise, as there's a relatively large main cast with a variety of personalities. The artwork does a fine job of representing subtle, masked expressions of concern or frustration, where things aren't necessarily being immediately explained or expressed by the character. Overall, I thoroughly enjoyed this manga. It had several moments that tugged at my heartstrings, some derived straight from the story, and others referencing sort of the, the prime storyline, how things are different here. Um, for me, this just really, really worked as a light, fun story. I should mention there was a recent anime adaptation of the manga as well. I've only seen the first episode. So this is 10 volumes, available entirely in the U.S., well-translated, a uh, fun story that certainly fills that slice of life uh, shoujo comedy uh, vibe, uh, if you're looking for that. So, hope you found this useful. Uh, there will be more reviews coming, and um, thank you for watching.